Hey everyone, it's Melissa. Today's video, I'm kind of back because I'm getting ready to do the second part of my hair video. So I'm kind of at a distance where you can see everything. So I hope you can see me okay right now. Our air conditioner upstairs is going out and I've got these bright lights on me. It's 84 degrees, so it is really, really hot. So I'm going to speak quickly and try to get through this. Uh, someone asked me if uh, I did a couple of videos ago, um, I had my hair down kind of like it is now in the video before that. And someone asked me if I would show how I did it. I think I've shown it before, probably several times, but I show it thoroughly all the way through in fast motion, blow drying it and putting all the rollers in without, the only time I would cut something out is if I was, you know, scratching myself or, you know, wiping my nose or something like that. So, uh, I show it all the way through, just at a faster speed, and I narrate it. So I do that, and then I have been practicing TikTok buns, uh, and I think I've got two of them down. Chris, I think his name's Apple White, Applegate, Apple. I'll have to look it up, but he does a lot of buns on TikTok and ponytails and stuff like that. So I've looked at several of them, and two of them. I have, uh, I think I've, you know, kind of mastered pretty well. So I'm going to show that at the end too. So I'm getting ready to film it. That's why I'm, you know, kind of at a distance. So it's later in the day. It's even gotten hotter up here. But I had forgotten to uh, tell you all what the products were that I was using. So I thought I would run back up here and do that right quick and then turn these lights off and go back downstairs. But um, the first one is the curling iron and I turn it down to the lowest setting so it just warms up the hair instead of, you know, getting it really, really hot. Uh, and then put the Velcro roller in. So um, this is Hot Tools, but any two inch curling iron that you find, that would work just as well. Uh, and then, you know, the two inch Velcro roller. I think this is a two inch because it looks like it's the same size. Both of these get the nice smooth look. You know, I just warm it up with this and then put the Velcro roller in. And I didn't show this, but I primed my hair with the dry bar prep and prime. Uh, it got all the tangles out and it also helped protect my hair. And I didn't show it, but I derma rolled my scalp and also put in the Nioxin leave-in scalp treatment. And then, then this brush, it is a paddle brush. It is very, it's one of those old ones that you can get off eBay. I think I got it in an estate sale years ago. Uh, it's very, very soft and I just use it to kind of, the weight of, the, of it being a paddle brush, it just kind of smooths it out. And um, the bristles are extremely soft so it doesn't, you know, it doesn't break it. It just, I just use it to kind of, gently brush through it because you're not supposed to brush your hair when it's wet but I just kind of use it to gently brush through it to kind of help it you know get all the dampness out and kind of straighten it a little bit but uh, before I bought this I used a men's brush that is really really soft like that would keep you know back in the day on the dressing tables I had one of those and that worked or something like a baby's brush just something really 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 soft to just kind of smooth it out a little bit. So that's what this brush is. Uh, and then I use the Redken Fashion Work 12. Uh, that's what I sprayed my roots with on the crown. It just does a really good job because, and then I sprayed it on afterwards. It does a really good job because it's a working hairspray, so it doesn't get real stiff. And I think that is everything. So, you know, I'll, I'll show how I do it now. First thing I do is blow dry my bangs in the front of my hair uh, to get it smooth and straight. I do my bangs back and forth because I've got really pretty strong calyx in the front. So I go back and forth to take the calyx out. And I'm going to part it on my left this time, but I get the kind of the ends in the front all the way around on the bottom. Then I take my big paddle brush and just get some of the crown up off my scalp. I don't do well with a round brush. And then I just uh, take the brush and smooth it out upside down to give it some body and kind of finish drying it. 
And then I smoothed down the top of the hair and especially my bangs in the front and sides. Kind of fish getting it dry, but getting those bangs down smooth. Okay, I'm gonna use the uh, green size rollers. And some of this I might put music to or something, but I start at my crown and I just, you know, as you can see, it's not evenly parted or anything, but I brush it. And on the crown, I just barely tease it, barely spray the root. And that curling iron is at the lowest it will be. It's just, it, it doesn't get very warm at all. And I just leave it for eight seconds, I count. And it's, it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't feel hot at all. And then I do the one right in front of it. If it just feels kind of thick, I'll take some of it off. It's very uneven, but tease a little bit, spray the root a little bit. And those are the only two places I tease and spray the root. Hold it for eight seconds, and then put that roller in. And then on the top, the last one, are my bangs. So I just do them back, working all the way, you know, working the longer pieces of hair in, and then putting in the roller, lifting it up off my scalp. And then I do the sides back. So I start, always start on my left side first, do the front pieces first. As you can see, we got a leaf blower outside, and then do that, and then um, the right side, the front. Yeah, that leaf blower, it's across the street. Doug's working on the front of the house, but he's not doing it right now, so I ran up here to record this. But then the leaf blower started. Okay, so that's two in the front back, and then right behind it, another one. And hold it. I did want to show the complete way I roll it so you can see it. Sometimes I just do bits and pieces, but I want to do the complete this time and speed it up. So two on the left and two on my right back, as well as the three on the top back. And then I divide it in half for the last two and I kind of roll it back, but when I put the roller in, I do it uh, kind of under. So, yeah, I kind of roll it under there and then do it on the other side. Roll it back, but then kind of do the roller under. So everything is away from my face and either away or under. And then that is it. I just give it a quick spray and I'm done. Okay, our air conditioner started blowing out warm air, so I had to turn it off. And my light's on me and the wind is open. It's even hotter, but I'm, I'm determined to get through this. I might get a little glistening look to me, so <laughs> I'll get through it. Okay, so I've let these cool down and I'm going to take down the rollers. Now, it's going to probably have some frizz to it because the heat and humidity up here is just atrocious, as you can imagine. And then I just actually just kind of use my fingers. I usually do it upside down, but um, kind of, you know, do my part and swoop my sides. And that is pretty much it. I will usually do this side behind one ear. I like put on some big earrings. So I might give it a little hairspray on my bangs. Um, and then that, that's it. This is the way I do my hair. Uh, most, I wash my hair twice a week. This is the way I do it most times when I wash it. And it, it really doesn't take that long. It's just getting out of the shower and then drying it and then putting the rollers in. The rollers usually take about four minutes for me to do them all over. Maybe five, something like that. 
then I go about my business, eat breakfast, whatever, take them out, and I'm ready to go. Uh, but you could also shampoo your hair at night, and then the next morning just get the warmth into each piece and put a Velcro in, and, you know, it will take any freeziness or where you've, you know, put kinks in it while you've slept or whatever. But the Velcro rollers, these and this size just really do a great job. I just use the curling iron to warm it up. You could warm it up in the shower, like I've shown before, let the steam warm it up, or you could warm it up with a blow dryer. And uh, But the main thing is to get these Velcros in to let it cool off, and that just makes it smooth and kind of lifts it up off your scalp. So that's the way I do my hair, and this is the basic for it. I'll do it up or down, and you know, I'll do it back in my kind of French twist that I do and, you know, tease up the crown there. And um, so it just, it just forms a good basis until I shampoo my hair again. Everybody stay cool. Try to get cool and hoping your air conditioner works. <laughs> but I appreciate it so much and I'll talk to you all in a couple of days. And I hope you all enjoyed it. I, I really do. I did another vlog this week, so I'll probably put that up Monday or Tuesday. So... Thanks again. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.